close the gap to 81-80, then what did you feel like was the difference from that point forward? Well, uh, we had a big turnover there. Um, I think that kind of ignited the, the break. We had a series of in play. Um, in the process of trying to get the ball out of uh, Demar's hands, uh, easier said than done. You know, uh, when you do that, obviously you put two on the ball. Uh, Vooch is a very skilled big, so his ability to play a uh, score and a playmaker out of the pocket uh, is, is unique. Uh, you know, we scrambled around, you know, but from most of them created some misses, uh, but it's just tough to sustain that. Uh, consistently having to get the ball uh, in Morris' hands is tough. He honestly got going early in the second half. You know, Booch in the first half, obviously it was DeMar in the second. So did a better job in the, in the post uh, with Vucevic. And unfortunately, we couldn't get the ball into control with uh, DeMar. Wes, kind of what specifically wasn't working there on defense? Was it the team defense that was breaking down, or can you kind of pick up through that? Oh, well, we were trying to blitz. And just that feel of when to go, um, how to keep pursuing when to leave the blitz, the rotation out of it. Um, and it's difficult, like I said, because they're, they're, they're going to make you pay for it. They're, they're accustomed to seeing that, you know, the, the, the gravity demands. Uh, a lot of teams are trying to get the ball in its hands. Uh, and we had a difficult time, you know, sustaining that. When you see that he's getting hot in the, earlier on in the second quarter, what are you telling guys before you maybe have to go to the blitz? We, we were early. trying to blitz earlier, earlier and it wasn't working. <laughs> I had a hard time doing it. We got better at blitzing, but you know, like I said, that they've seen it time and time again. And um, you know, when you have a great situation, the ball finds an open man late in the clock, he hits a three. It's somewhat deflating, but it, it served his purpose. You know, the purpose being get it out of his hands. What did you see from Rui tonight? He was really good. Uh, his, his level of aggression. Uh, you know, once again, the quick decisions. I, I think he's getting better in that area. And uh, just his. Uh, Ability to carve out space, get to paint, uh, finish through contact, and he's not hesitating on his three. So I like the uh, you know the balance of you know paint three, um, you know live ball attack, all those things. You mentioned the turnovers. It sounds like uh, sort of the, the timing of the ones in the second half hurt, but there were quite a few of them in the first half. Just was there any common thread to those? Well, the, the one positive with the ones in the first half, they were dead ball. Uh, live ball turnovers, they're, they're tough to recover from. Um, nothing unique, you know, I just think a little error of spacing, uh, mistiming our cuts, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's anything dramatic. You guys, back as big picture wise, like you and the Bulls both started hot and obviously the season went, I, I'm just wondering, like, is there anything that you've seen from the Bulls that you kind of want, like, your team to, I guess, like, are there common, like, why were they able to kind of continue their hot side, obviously, Bill got hurt, but like- Well, I think a big piece hit. of that is um, on the defensive end. They've been able to maintain that. Um, you know, it's just their, their level physicality when they, they blow through things and they make you work for everything. Even when you're open, you have a split second to make a decision because they're they're running you down. They're, they're going to continue to play through possession and make you earn it. So I think I give them a lot of credit for that. You know, offensive side, they've got a very unique, unique player who can, two really, who can get shots at any moment. You know, tonight they come combined for 59 points. Uh, both of them took turns and had a half. But um, the defensive side, I think, is the biggest difference. Wes, what adjustments were you guys able to make on the post? You mentioned getting better against Switch there. Oh, uh, yeah, in the first half or second? Second. Uh, it was just more the blitz with uh, DeRozan. Uh, we really struggled with it early in the half. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's tough, too, because even when they, they, you know, they know it's coming, uh, they're going to bait you. and. Um, and, you know, move guys around and really make the rotations difficult. So, um, you know, you're still trying to get the ball out of his hands, which, which we were able to, but uh, you have to live with the result. Sorry. Effort obviously looks good. You guys had really good moments throughout the third. What happened in the fourth, you think? Um, as I said time and time again, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of tired for me to say that, but we just need to keep our focus. Um, we're doing good, good stuff throughout the game. Uh, we're playing good, we're playing together, and, and I feel at some point, like the, our, our couple of offices, we lack in focus, and then we got collapsed. Uh, Domar did a great job today, um, shot the ball good. Uh, we just needed to adjust better. I think uh, overall, our defense were, was good today. 
just those little details, those small ones, you need to uh, you need to stay focused and um, continue to fight until the end. What uh, adjustments did you guys make on Mitrovic, or was it kind of Demar just speaking over in the second half? And they kind of it's it's kind of both. Like they they got a, they got rolling, but um, it's just knowing the personnel and don't let them get going from the beginning of the game. So don't let them start like that because then it's really hard. Like NBA players, especially good ones, really hard to um, stop them after they heat up. And um, they were they were heating up in the beginning of the game, and it's hard hard to stop them when time comes. You guys have a number of young players on this team. Just what have you learned defensively just about bringing that consistency? And is there anything that you've seen growth wise in kind of all you guys? Uh, definitely, the communication is way better. We're playing together on defense, and we're talking. That's the most important. And I feel like we're doing a great job of listening to the personnel, like knowing the tend tendencies of players, and uh, just have have each other's back. That's the the big part of defense. And um, you know, from here we're just like gonna correct the mistakes we've done. We're gonna watch film, and we're gonna get better and better. So. And there's a lot about your game that's grown this year, but it, do you think defensively is the the biggest jump, or I, I don't know? If you agree with I think um, overall, I just feel more comfortable in the court. Um, I can show what I what I, what I can do, and defensively is just always like I'm not going to be perfect defensively. Don't get me wrong; I'm not going to stop guys every time. Like th those are a, a great NBA players, like Hall of Famer, some of them. Um, I'm going to be there to make their life tough. But sometimes they're gonna hit uh, tough shots. Sometimes, sometimes they're gonna have good games, and you know I won't be able to do as much. But I'm taking the challenge every night, and I'm trying to stop the guys and help help my team to win. So that's the most important. Danny, take us through the behind the back pass. Behind the back pass, I love sharing my, the ball. I love uh, creating for my teammates and. Um, when I'm going to get more comfortable with time, I think. Um, I'm going to have more, more behind the back or flashes, but don't get me wrong. I'm not going to do it too much. I'm going to do it like with, you know, good. And, um, and when he, when it, there's time to, so. Is that just instinctual? What's instinctual? Like just throwing it behind your back versus. Like automatic. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just the, like, it was easy. Cause like this pass, uh, was unex unexpected by the big guy. And, uh, it's just going there faster, you know, not every time, like not all the time it's going to be flashy, but um, even when it's flashy, sometimes there is a sense behind it. It's not just like being flashy to be flashy. You know, it's like, has sense. Yeah, I really said that he was glad he didn't drop it. I, would, I mean, <laughs> he finished that good, so we're good. <laughs> Danny, I know that, uh, that behind the back pass was in transition, not a pick and roll, but how comfortable are you running the pick and roll right at the, at the ball. Game. I love it. I think I'm, um, I still have a lot of grow in the pick and roll area. Um, but I feel like it, it slows down. It, it becomes easier and easier with time. And hopefully um, that's part of a part of my game that I can and I will hopefully master with time. And um, I love, I love just sharing the ball, like reading the screens, reading the defense and just making plays for others. So um, I wasn't, I was never shy off the pick and roll, so. Danny, I got to ask about the new city edition uniform cover and house today, what do you think? Uh, I like pink. I think real man wears pink. <laughs> and, um, you know, bringing a little spiciness to the Washington Wizards, I feel like it's good. And uh, hopefully we can do uh, great uniforms every year. <laughs> basically so no but I love it I love it I love the, the the tribute they made I love the the colors um I'm just a little ashamed that they they didn't try those on me but um I won't take it personal because you feel like you could pull it off better than Kyle or really I mean I just told Kyle he probably <laughs> I just told Kyle he probably volunteered himself into uh, <laughs> showing off the new clothes but uh they look they look good with them and um I'm glad to see them in, in person. You're gonna have to get pink shoes to complete the outfit. Pink shoes. We'll need to uh, work on them. Uh, oh, hopefully, uh, okay, the, purple one. the purple ones don't really match. But um, I'm gonna find a solution. Don't worry. Christos. 
hey Denny, hope you're doing well. Uh, at this stage of the season and after the that good stretch that you have for game the four game stretch, do you feel more mature, more I think Christos is frozen, so uh, let's move on. Oh, he's gonna be free. Hear me now. Hi, uh, Kira. Uh, I'm sorry. I just you, you hear me now? Yes. Okay. At this stage of the season, after a four a four game stretch, really good for you. Do you feel more mature, more efficient as a player? Uh, definitely, I feel more comfortable. Um, feel confident. Um, as I said, um, I just love to see me growing and, and, and maturing and getting better every game. So hopefully this will continue until the, the end of my career. And I'm just learning. And I love playing with my team. I love playing with my teammates. And it, it's it's fun out there. We just need to be a little focused. Uh, well, we can win some, some good games. So. And with uh, seven games uh, to go for you, how you approach the last, uh, the final stretch of the season? I'm always fighting till till the end, whether it's the, the game, whether it's the season, or whatever it takes. Like even there, if there is no chance, I'm always believing, you know. So um, that's how I got taught. That's how I got raised. I'm trying to win every game till the end, and like no discounts. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Neil. Hey, Jenny, um, for you, when you had DeRozan, you know, in isolation, you had the one possession where, you know, he went at you, you got the block, came back, you know, he tried to bump into you, he ended up going down. I guess, how tough was it just to stay vertical? And I guess, what is that just like a constant reminder or focus to, you know, obviously, if you bring your hands down, you know, officials are going to call that whistle? Uh, DeRozan does a good job of like, um, faking and, and and I know his tendencies. Like I learn players, so I know he's about to fake. I'm not falling for that. I'm 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 putting my hands up. I mean, it, the call was it is what it is. You know, like I'm not taking it personal, but um, just staying solid and knowing, like learn his game. I feel like uh, I've done a, a, a solid job. He he played good. He hit some tough shots, but um, that's part of the game. <laughs> 